Hello everybody, welcome back to Activate Truth. It's so good to have you here. If you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than maybe you have seen on our channel previously, but I'm gonna do a book review. I love apologetics. It is something that God has been growing on my heart so much over the past probably year and a half, actually. And I wanna share with you the amazing books that I have had the privilege of being able to read about apologetics. But first, to give you kind of a background on me and my background in apologetics is last fall, so September to December of 2019, I moved to Kona, Hawaii with YLAM and did a three month intensive apologetic school. So for those full three months, we just studied and practiced apologetics. It was one of the most amazing programs and like schools that I have done like so far. And it, it really like rounded out my, my time in missions and doing a Bible school and all that kind of stuff. It just helped me understand like and be equipped to use and teach the word of God in a deeper way. So, and I'll probably share that more in a later video, but that's all I'm going to say about that right now. Anyways, you may be asking, Emily, what is apologetics? Well, that is a great question. If you don't know, there is a verse um, in the Bible that most people that study apologetics use to kind of show like the significance of it and like the importance of it. Basically, apologetics is learning how to defend your faith and defending it. So if we look in our Bibles at 1 Peter 3.15, and I'll read through till 17, but 15 is kind of like, yeah. Okay, First Peter 3.15, it says, But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. Okay, 16 and 17 is, Having a good conscience, so that when you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that should be God's will, than for doing evil. So basically, apologetics is just sharing with people the hope that we have inside us and kind of shining light on different people's world worldviews because we all have a worldview, whether we realize it or not. I have been taught and have grown up with a certain perspective on life and people around me, all these kinds of things. And so what does my worldview say? And what does somebody else's worldview say? Um, and how do they see the world around them? Basically asking ourselves, why do we believe what we do? Whether we believe in Christ, whether we're Muslim, um, atheist, Hindu, whatever that looks like, what is the, the core belief of our like our belief system what is driving us to live the way that we do and um believe what we do so i find apologetics and just the whole topic of that absolutely fascinating and so beautiful because i know for myself growing up i kind of i was taught that like christianity was the way and i i do believe that i do believe that christianity is and that jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, but I didn't fully understand that there was other worldviews out there other than my own. And so I just kind of went off of my parents' faith for a really long time because I thought that that was the only way and the right way to live. And I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm not putting anything on anybody. Um, but as I've grown up and been in YWAM and um, been learning about apologetics, I've learned how important it is to make my faith my own and sit and ask myself, Emily, why do you actually believe what you do? Like, what is driving you to do and to live the way that you are? And once I've kind of taken that and like really examined it, examined it and like asked myself these like deep questions, it's been so beautiful to see the the way that the Lord has worked and um, just really shown his glory and his beauty by me asking questions. So if you have questions, 
do not shy away from them. I really encourage you to seek out those questions. Seek in the word of God. Seek out like what is the the deep, what is driving me to believe what I do? And um, you may be really surprised with what you find. Okay, so the book review that I'm going to do um, is going to be pretty quick and very simple. I just really want to share with you the different books that I have enjoyed reading and that I actually read during my course that I did with YLAM. So they're not going to be super in-depth and or anything like that, but um, I will put the links for all of the different books below in the description um, and you can check them out deeper if you'd like to. But the first book is called On Guard and it's by William Lane Craig. And this was the first book that I've ever read about apologetics and it is quite a dense book. It has a lot of science in it, um, but it's really amazing. I, I read it during my course um, and so I need to go back through and read it like on my own time and take time to actually fully comprehend and understand what exactly is in here because it's it's gold. Like it's in a really amazing book. Um, I believe Lauren has also read it and so she probably has her own opinion and thoughts on it too. Um, but it goes through a whole lot of different arguments from different worldviews and viewpoints and kind of sh shows their perspective but also like a biblical perspective. So. I, I really enjoyed this book, um, even though parts of it were quite difficult to understand. <laughs> okay, the next one um, is called The Book That Made Your World, as you can see, I did some notes, um, and it's by Vishal Mangawadi. Um, he is from India, um, but I think he moved here to the United States, and it's basically about the Bible and how it shaped Western civilization. Um, so looking at culture, looking at worldview and trying to make sense of why, um, like how the Bible truly impacted, um, just societies all around the world and shaped the world that we know today. So this is a really amazing book. Um, be, it's interesting how when you're from somewhere, like if I'm from the U S or America, and then, you know, he's from India, how his, our different communication styles are different. Like they're vastly different. So his communication style is quite different. Um, he kind of goes in, I believe it's like circ circles. <laughs> um, that may not be the correct term, but anyways, um, it's a really great book. He tells lots and lots of stories. Um, so that's kind of how he shares, um, his, his, Information is through stories and helping you connect in that way. So that's a really amazing book. Um, the other book is called Tactics by um, Gregory Kokel. And it says, a game plan for discussing your Christian convictions. And so I really enjoyed this book. And I just need to read all of them again when I have time. <laughs> um, but it goes through all of these different steps and ways that you can communicate like better, whether it's just in like asking better questions, um, or just knowing how to kind of direct a conversation. If you're having different types of conversations with people, what it doesn't even even have to do with apologetics, but, um, this is an apologetics book. So that's kind of the direction that he goes in. Um, but I really, really, enjoyed this and found it very fascinating. Um, we read this like at the end of my course and it kind of like tied everything together. So, um, it may not be a book that you would want to read, like right as you go get into apologetics because, um, it doesn't, I don't know, kind of learning like the, the deep depths of like worldviews and topics is really helpful. So then you actually, you have, um, information to then be able to use in your conversations, if that makes sense. The next book um, that we read during my course is called Love Thy Body, and it's by a woman named Nancy Piercy. Oh my goodness. This book, like, <laughs> I could not say more good things about it. Like, it is one of my all-time favorite books. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's basically answering hard questions about life and sexuality. 
So if you have questions about abortion, about um, like transgenderism, about um, oh, um, homosexuality, about a lot of different things um, and trying to figure out like why Christians believe what they do, um, why other belief worldviews and other people believe what they do about these topics and um it it's one of the most relevant and important books i believe right now especially for our world and for believers because that's a very re relevant topic right now so yes if you were to get any book i oh my goodness it's so good okay so and then these next two books i've picked up over the last um couple months a friend of mine gave me this book it's called the logic of god it's by ravi zacharias um i haven't read too much into it quite yet but i'm really looking forward to it it looks like it has um let's see here 52 it's kind of there it's set up kind of like um devotionals like 52 different like little questions or like devotional type things um and it goes through like different questions and it kind of breaks them down very simply. And so if you want just like a basic, um, it says like 52 Christian essentials for the heart and mind. And so it's very kind of basic and just breaks things down in a very simple like way. And so I haven't dived too much into this book, but I'm really looking forward to it. So there's that one. And then I am really enjoying this book right now. And... I have not gotten very far <laughs> because life is busy and like I said before I'm a reader like I'm trying to get myself into reading I'm not like I don't know it's just not something that I used to find fun but I'm trying to find it fun now and I have my pen in it because I've been taking notes but it's called Total Truth and it's by the same woman Nancy Piercy and the title says, Liberating Christianity from its Cultural Captivity. And I truly think that, like, this is probably even more than probably, like, Love Thy Body because that's more about, like, sexuality. This, right now, for our world, is probably so crucial to be reading right now of how do we as Christians, like, face culture because there's so much happening in our world right now. And so how do we tackle that like what what do we do <laughs> and um so just kind of it nancy piercy is so great about breaking down really difficult concepts into tangible like thinking and ways of like processing and i just find her her information and in her books really fun to read actually um being not a avid reader I really enjoy the way she writes so I'm looking forward to reading more about it and maybe I'll share on our Instagram activate truth um more about it once I get into it but yeah I'm really looking forward to this so that is all of my books that I have for you today if you have any suggestions for me of books that I should read please let me know either email us send us a message on our Instagram or even just comment down below um, I am always up for knowing, um, more books and probably shouldn't add it to my shelf, <laughs> but I, if, if necessary, I will get it. So please let us know if you have any suggestions, um, or if you have any questions about the books, if I can help answer them, um, comments, questions, concerns, anything like that. We'd love to hear from you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week.